Gwee ditch everyone. Welcome back to our farm here again this week. This week has all been about getting a lot of the jobs done now so we can prepare for breeding season. So we have a lot of work done now throughout this week and a lot more work to do now next week. It's just showing you all the jobs that we've done this week and how we're preparing for a big season now this year on our farm when it comes to production of snails. And we're looking for a big year this year because the price of snails has gone up a nice bit. So we don't know what the prices will be like next year, but we're just hoping that they'll be higher than the usual price. So we're aiming for a good year this year with selling production again, starting again next year off the farm. So stick with us. We'll show you all the jobs we've done this week and keep you all up to date. So we have all this pin now here, redone and replanted all the way along. So we just wait now for this to start to grow up in all the dark spaces. And because we've had a crazy start to spring, you can already see the green shoots starting to come up. So at least that's one pin done. So we're working on this pin now here all the way along now, we're just working on it now. And if you come down to here, you can see where we, we're just here now at this stage. So we're just getting all the underneath these boards planted and get that coming up and we'll turn it around and we just clear it off and get this ready now for breeding season coming up. I only have a small bit of seeds left now to do a small bit more on this pin. So we'll have to get more seeds just to finish this one off. So we'll get that done. And then another job we have to do over here because we were lambing for the last just over two months, this place here has gone a bit wild. So we're going to have to come in and tap this down and just cut the, this down just to make it that bit tidier and neater. So we'll get this pin now ready for breeding season here where we'll just section off a bit, put in our mammies and get the rest set up. And then the babies will be born here and then we'll open it up and let the babies continue on down into the fattening pins as we say so that's another job now that we have to get done it's just uh, it's gone fairly wild so we just have to cut that down then another little job that I'm looking forward to doing now with this one is where we have two rows of pin knitting meeting we have to connect the electric fence over the two laps just so the power goes all the way around so we've chopped and changed different ways of doing this throughout the years where we've used electrical wire, we've used cattle wire strainers, we've used all that. So this is what we have this year. So we just have one end connected over, connecting to the new start. This every year drives us a little bit nuts because it rusts and um, all that stuff happens. So power always connects or shorts or something always happens every year. So we got connectors for this now that are designed for electric fins. So we'll be able to overlap the two of them and pin them together. So I'll show you how we do that now, but they're a great plus when it comes to electric snail, especially snail electric fins, because they're designed specially for it. So we have a few sections throughout this where we have just overlapping, where one pin ended and new one started. So that's another job now I'm looking forward to doing, because that way it'll cut out all the problems of shorten or touching or moving or anything so that's going to make a huge difference out to the whole circuit going around here so i'll show you when we get around to doing that now as well so we only have about an hour's work left here now to do because today we have ronan lerner from the gab it's a podcast calling out to the farm so we're going to have him going around the farm now we're doing a podcast with him today so we'll wrap up now as much as we can here before he comes and i'll head up then and we get ready to do an interview. For anyone that wants to keep up to date on anything that we're doing here on our farm, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Once you hit that, you'll see a bell. If you hit the bell, all new videos that we put up, you'll be notified of. So you'll get to keep up to date on everything that we're doing here, all behind the scenes on our farm. So here we've Ronan Lerner from, go on. Well, okay, I'm from Galo Bay FM and I'm just down here at the moment doing a uh, podcast. <laughs> Um, well, it's a podcast called The Gab uh, with Ronan Lardner and uh, I'm just here and I'm completely intrigued, as in literally intrigued about snail farming. I didn't realise there were so many different avenues with it, the setup with it, 
Um, it's it's mad. It's mad. It's fantastic. Stephen was just going through all the bits and pieces with me here as, as what they do. There's a lot of work involved in it, I have to say. But I'm sure it can be quite lucrative once things uh, once things work out. But he's put an awful amount of work into what he's done here. And I'm looking forward to having a chat with him. Uh, starting at the beginning and moving on right up until where he is at the moment. And the ups and downs of, uh, of snail farming. Never thought I'd be talking about snail farming, <laughs> to be honest with you. Or milking snails or anything like that. <laughs> Um, it's amazing livestock out there. You have to be running around after them. These you don't, <laughs> uh, which is quite different and a different headage grant entirely involved. But look, it's lovely to be here. So thanks for having Perfect. me, Steve. Not all roll. We'll head up now and do the podcast. Yeah, talk to you later. Okay, here we go. Yum, yum, guys. My first snail. <laughs> okay. Take your pick. <laughs> okay. I have never done this before in my life. No. Show me what to do. Okay. Pull. Yeah. That's it. That's all right. There we go. Yeah. In fact, that was. In fact, that was quite nice. Yeah. That's now the garlic butter okay. helped matter yes. considerably. There we go. <laughs> and the chef was fantastic <laughs> as well on top of that. But there you go. Escargot. I can never say that I've never tasted a snail in my life. Perfect. That's the job. I'm not going back to all the food now. Thank you. Breakfast, dinner, tea. That was lovely. I feel good after that. So we had a great evening now here yesterday with Ronan on the farm. Glad that we got to show him around what we do and how we do it. And doing the podcast was a bit of fun. So I just want to thank Ronan for his time and for coming out, seeing us here on the farm. And we also got him to eat and taste his first ever escargot. Hopefully that's a memory he remembers forever. So that's his first one, hopefully many more to go after that. I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to check out that podcast. It'll be down there in the writing. Just click on the link and it should bring it right up if anyone is interested in hearing that podcast. So we have seeds now that have arrived. So we'll get these ready now. We can finally get out and plant these seeds. So we have a lot of this now prepped already where it's cleaned off and tidied up so it's just ready to put seeds down and put the boards back. So we've that done now so we're just going to get all these seeds finally in the ground and we get all these boards and we'll get all these boards back down looking like them down there. So this now is starting to look a lot, lot better. So we still have seeds now to put on the other side underneath over there. So we'll get them seeds put down and then that'll be another pin here finished. So that'll be the two pins now either side of me here then done. And we'll give that a few weeks and hopefully we we'll start to see this going lovely and green and have it ready to go come breeding. So we got this big pin now here behind me, all chopped down and trimmed, so it looks a lot better. So we've all this now here, cut down to a manageable level. So at least this part up here now is ready for mammies and for breeding. We have to come in now and just clear off these walkways and make sure they're all nice and clean because they're just covered in 
fall and stuff now at the minute. And once we clean off the walkways then, because you always want the farm to be easy work and manageable. So walkways are very important. So we will tidy up these now and we show you that again. So we come down to this part here that we still have to get these boards now on top, cleaned off, power washed and put back up. And once these boards are done and the pathways are clear, we're ready for breeding season 2022. So we just have the last section now of this pin here to get planted. And it's just this bit here. Just this bit now here to do. And once we get that planted, then that's these two pins fully done and we can hopefully walk away from them and just let the green in a few weeks come up and this should be perfect for summer. So we've all this done now here all the way along all done and planted so that's one of the big jobs done that we can hopefully leave and let it get on with nature and seeds growing now so we'll get on to other jobs after this once this bit is So tomorrow's job now will be to fit them connectors onto the snail electric fence. So we'll get that done now tomorrow morning and that will improve the circuit going around. So I'll just give a quick update now inside in the pony tunnel and show you the seeds that we planted now just what it's looking like and what it's coming up like now at the minute. Yeah, so as you can see we're actually starting to turn nice and green in or around here now. So hopefully now in another week I'll be able to put all these boards back down and just let it grow naturally underneath then once the boards are back in place. So that's just an update now on what's happening in here. Can't really do anything now until it grows that bit more and then put the boards down and then we get snails on it. And then we're kind of complete in here then with the work so it's more outdoor this time of year than work indoor. So just to show you what it's looking like now at the minute. You know when you do all your work the day before and the night before and you have everything looking the way you want it when you leave it and then you come back the next morning and, and you find this. So we have a whole row now here knocked to the ground. No idea why. There was no pressure or anything on it. We didn't have a storm or windy last night. So no idea what happened here. So it's just one of the mornings. So first job now is to get this put back up and get it secure again. So I wasn't planning on doing this this morning, but this is our job. Now that was a lot more delicate than it probably looked on camera, especially when it was sped up that bit. Because this is still full of snails, in here, we had to be very careful where we walked so that we didn't walk on them. So light footed, watch your step. But done now and back up. Still don't know what actually caused that but anyway done so we have our connectors here now and these are for and these are for the connectors out in the fence now so we'll go and get these put on first thing we have to do is knock off the mains power for obvious reasons i don't want to shock so we'll knock that off and we'll get out and we'll get these Put on. 
So we need to take off the old connectors that we had on it now and just free it up and get the actual wires of the electric fence out freely now first before we go putting on the connectors. So we have to try it out and get these strands of wire straight again after so many years of bending them and twisting them trying to find ways to connect them together. So I'll show you now what I mean by having these connectors set up. Now so when you get them set up you just get to overlap these wires with this side Put the two on top of each other and with this thing you get to tighten the screw, tighten the screw and it just clamps the two lines together. So they're sitting on top of each other and clamped tight. So that means power going through this way. We'll just go through these and keep going straight. So hopefully that will solve any little problems that we always had where the wires used to touch off each other and all them things. So hopefully that's it. Now, so this evening before we pack up, we'll feed the snails out in the field. So we're back now to using the powder meal. Now again, because we're not promised rain for the next two or three days. So when it doesn't rain and it's not damp, we'll use the powder. Once it's raining and damp and wet and miserable, usual Ireland, we'll use the pellets. So for now we'll go out, we'll feed them the meal and we'll see how much tomorrow that they've actually eaten of this in one night. So that's the last job done now for tonight. We'll let these snails now come out later on when it gets dark and the temperatures drop and it gets a bit cooler, they'll all come out. They'll fill their bellies up and we'll come out now tomorrow and it's not raining tomorrow. So when we come out tomorrow morning now more than likely these will be asleep out of the sun and the dryness. We'll wait and see. But we'll see how much meal now they've eaten when they all come out at night. And when we come back tomorrow they'll be all asleep. But we'll see how much meal that they've actually eaten. So that's us done for today. So we'll wrap up this video now here for this week. Thanks a million for watching and anyone that keeps coming back, thanks a million. We'll be back again soon with another video and more work that we're getting done to set up the 2022 season. Don't forget, hit that like button on the way out.